What's up everyone, I'm Mark. I'm Alex. And today we're gonna bring you a video all about the top products we've picked here for February 2024. Everything from getting out there on those long dig days, to me measuring all your power if you're a road cyclist, to even those classic comfort drop bars on your gravel bikes. So sit back, stay tuned. We're gonna dive into these products and make it easier for you to get back out there and keep pedaling. All right, first up, we got the Camelback Chill Pack. Dude, that thing is monstrous. Yeah, this thing is no joke. So, I mean, like we said, it's digging season, right? We're getting days of rain. We're getting days right after that rain where that dirt is perfect to get out there on the trail and have a nice long dig day, get that trail looking exactly the way you want it. If you're this machine right here and you're doing crazy free ride stuff and dirt jumps and all that, you're spending a lot of days out there in the sun. This chill back right here is probably the way to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is definitely something that you're going to want to be able to take out to the spot if you're setting up and digging all day, especially if you're out in the hills far away from your car. You can basically pack everything you need for the day here, and that way you don't have to make too many runs to the gas station or whatever to get water or food. You can bring everything with you and just have a good day out at the trails. Yeah, so I mean, this thing holds 24, you know, bubbly waters plus ice. Uh, it'll keep it cold for over 72 hours, which is pretty sick. Um, Cause you know, nothing like staying hydrated when you're out there, you know, shoveling dirt around all the time. It's a full roll top closure, um, which is always good on bags. It's got a nice Velcro here at the top. And as you can see, when you pull open the top, it's literally like a cooler on the inside of the bag. So you'll be able to put the ice in the cans right there. Um, on this side over here, we got a nice Velcroed mesh pocket. So whether you're putting your keys or your phone or anything on that side, it works. The other side is just a kind of slide in mesh pocket. So if you're just sliding your phone or whatever else you need to slide in on that. Um, towards the back, we got the full on six liter uh, water reservoir with a nice group community like spigot. So you can fill up everyone's bottles, things like that. Pass it all out. It's got a nice thick pad. It's a full waterproof zipper on this system. So this is the latest technology when it comes to bladder systems and all that. Um, so pretty sick. Uh, overall, it feels really comfortable. The waist straps, the shoulder straps are padded enough that you know when you are carrying that amount of stuff up on your dig day or whatever it may be, just in your out sessioning for the day, you're not gonna be super uncomfortable. Another great thing about this product is you can match it with one of your homies who's got the, you know, the Deity, or not the Deity, excuse me, the Dekine uh, builder bag like Alex just grabbed recently. Mm -hmm. And we've also featured that in our latest, our other video on top products of 2023. You can throw your shovel on that thing, all your dig tools. So someone's carrying all the tools, the other person's carrying the drinks. What better do you want when you're out there on the trail for a long day? So that's the Camelback Chill Pack uh, 30 with a six liter uh, reservoir on it. Let's get into the other products. All right, next up, what I think is probably, we both think is probably the sickest item on our picks for February is one of our Jensen exclusive bikes. And if you don't know, we're now currently doing a lot of, and we've revitalized this program of doing exclusive builds on bikes that you love with really cool build outs on products. Basically you buy the bike and it's your dream bike already ready to go. So like behind me here, we got that six Santa Cruz Nomad with the new RockShox coil. We also got the pivot switchblade that we've built up, a brunch ride kind of addition. Both of those are super sick. So make sure to check the website and check those out. But for this one, we decided we'd do the Ibis Ripley carbon frame build out we just recently did. I mean, the Ripley is just renowned yeah. for being that trail bike. All we ever hear about is people saying it's like their favorite trail bike to get out there and ride. It's that perfect short travel that can basically eat up what you want and still have a great time on it. Yeah, it's a fan favorite. It's got the famous DW Link suspension. Um, it's proven. They've been making these for years. They've you know, revitalize them over, over the years, but um, basically it's just a proven bike. They do it, they do well, and um, you really can't go wrong with one. So let's stop looking at us and let's dive into some really nice B-roll here from Preston that he's got shot on the bike and we'll go over some of the features now. So starting off uh, for the suspension, we got the Fox factory suspension for both the front and the rear. On the front, we have the 34 factory series um, and 130 millimeters of travel. Coming in with that 130 millimeters of travel, it's a good amount for a trail bike. Um, not too much, not too little. 
On the rear, you got the Fox Float Factory DPS, which is gonna give you the same 130 millimeters of travel in the rear. Again, it's the factory, so you get that nice Kashima coat. And then for the drivetrain, you're gonna get a full Shimano XT group set. Uh, it's gonna be a 12 speed, so just a solid, reliable group set that you're gonna be able to uh, give a lot of abuse and it's gonna hold up. For the brakes, you're also gonna get Shimano XT as well. You're gonna get the four piston uh, calipers with a Galfer 203 rotor in the front and 180 in the rear. So you're gonna have plenty of stopping power, especially for a fairly lightweight trail bike. Um, you're gonna get plenty out of that. All right, moving in uh, to the next six setup here we got here is the Race Face Turbine R30. And these are 29 inch wheels with vault hubs and boost spacing. So these wheels are really meant to get out there and just roll over and tackle anything you need out there on the trail. They're reliable, they're super strong, and basically just something you're gonna put on there and immediately notice that difference. Uh, laced up on those, we also got the Maxxis Dissector tires, and, um, the Exos. So these are really good tires. They're gonna be grippy, they're gonna be rippy, and they're gonna keep you, you know, basically rolling on any trail that you wanna throw out there. Uh, keep it on with that race face that we love to throw here. Uh, we got the race face next, our carbon 35 handlebars on there with a 20 millimeter rise at 800 millimeters wide. So it's that perfect width that we know is pretty stock for most people. Um, and a good rise just for good control, um, good steering and you know pedal power when you're out there and you're climbing and everything else. Next up on those race face bars, you got WTB waffle grips, just a solid uh, all around grip. And then to match up with your Fox suspension, you're gonna get a Fox transfer dropper um, in 175 or 200 millimeters of travel, depending on the size of your frame. Uh, it's just a solid, very reliable dropper. Um, and then to finish it off, you're gonna get a WTB Silverado saddle. Um, that's a saddle that's been around for years, super comfortable, lightweight, um, and that's gonna to top off your build. All right, so as you can see, like that build breakdown is just absolutely killer. It's the bike you wanted to build without having to go and replace all your parts. We built it from, you know, grips all the way to saddle to the wheels just to get you out there rolling on the perfect trail bike if you're looking for an Ibis Ripley. Yeah, these really are just top, top notch builds. Um, this is a bike that would normally come in just under eight grand and we're selling it for 5,000. So you're really getting the, like pretty much the maximum bang for your buck and we've already done the hard work of choosing all the parts for you. Yeah. So make sure to check out our Jensen exclusive builds. All right, next up, we got these Chromag pressure pedals. These things are pretty cool. They're, they're based sick. on their previous contact pedal. They're actually designed in conjunction with Brandon Seminuk. They got some pretty cool features. Uh, one of the things that I like is they have adjustable pin height and basically how that works is they have a little washer spacer so you can take that out if you want your pins to be a little longer or you can have those in there if you want those pins a little shorter they also have multiple locations for your pins to go in so you can really customize um, where you want that traction how much traction you want uh, it's probably one of the more adjustable pedals on the market um, other than that, it's a pretty standard pedal. I mean, they're basically going off of their proven contact pedal. Uh, fairly thin, concave profile. It's pretty light. What's the weight on this thing? Uh, it's 416 grams for the pair. Yeah. So, you know, pretty good there. Like, when it comes to weight for an actual CNC machined pedal, um, I think they've shed weight where they need to without, you know, reducing any of the quality of the pedal yeah. it's got nine pins per side so 18 pins but like you said you can kind of move them around mm -hmm. you know adjust the height and all that and really make that like that foot position exactly where you want yeah and you do actually get a bunch of extra pins um, in the package so you know if you want to add more take some out you know it's all it's all preference with pedals but uh, this gives you the opportunity to try out a bunch of different things and really tune fine-tune what you like Kind of make it that old school bear claw feel and just put you know 18 per side and just <laughs> yeah you remove could your shin skin you know with the included pins you could really go to town on this thing i just think they look really good yeah. um you Super know chromag cool. always really brings that style when they create things and so you know they just look really good for a nice machine pedal and not too heavy so you're not putting too much weight on there good customization and you know yeah. quality product really good looking uh fairly lightweight yep fully adjustable.
good pedal. All right, next up we got the 4i 3 plus precision power meter. Um, I know you're a gravel guy, you're into measuring, measuring your power. So. I don't know about that, I'm pretty slow. <laughs> but, you know. So uh, what do you have to say about this? Yeah, so I mean, this is for those gnarly gravel riders that are really trying to, you know, hit that next level of power and fitness as well as, you know, so especially out there, those roadies out there that are really trying to just, you know, hit levels of watts and, you know, figure out that thing. So basically what this is, is 4i has redesigned and come out with this new uh, precision three plus power meter for your left crank arm. You basically match it to whatever, you know, previous uh, drivetrain system you have. It's only gonna add nine grams of weight overall by them inserting that power meter into the crank arm. With a plus or minus of 1% accuracy, it's pretty solid. Um, so if you're really out there and you're trying to get you know, that next level, you're, you know, constantly measuring, like one of our gear advisors here, Clay, the dude is out there constantly working on his crit because he's doing crit races and stuff. This kind of like stats really, really matter to hit that next level in your racing features. Um, and 4i here really has bring, brought this next level of precision when it comes to power meters. Um, another really cool thing here is it's only, it's got three strain gauges, so it really syncs up with whatever app you want to have on your phone, whether you're Apple or Android. Um, and really just measure those things. Another really cool feature um, about this crank arm too um, is if you are an iPhone user uh, and you have the Find My you know, phone or Find My AirPods, whatever that may be, this has the Find My feature in there as well that you can set up into your phone. So it's like an added bike security. You can always kind of figure out where your bike is and set that up in there within that system. It's also the IP7 uh, waterproof rating, so you don't have to worry about like you know switching back to your original crank arm if you're out there riding when it's wet or whatever. It is going to be waterproof for all those systems, um, and it's also got the Ant uh, Plus and Bluetooth connectivity. And I know that you're not really interested in watch; you're more <laughs> looking at going downhill. Um, yeah. But basically, the big thing here is like the precision on this like for getting those different levels of power meter and building that strain and overall developing yourself as a cyclist, whether you're looking to race, you're doing that next big gravel world race, or you know, you're know you racing a lot on road, this is gonna help you achieve that next level. Mm -hmm. And I know you mentioned before that they actually take the, the original crank arm, so you know that what you're getting is gonna match up to your existing cranks perfectly. You're not getting like uh, something that's, you're not gonna have to worry about the fitment being weird. This is an actual, this one here is an actual Ultegra yep. crank arm. So you're getting original manufactured equipment and uh, they've just adapted it to run the power meter. Yep, and so it'll measure between zero and 4,000 watts. So, I mean, if you're outputting 4,000 watts, man, whew, you're a workhorse. Um, but overall, solid quality here. This is one of our top picks, I feel like, because we're about to start getting really hardcore into race season as spring comes along and you wanna get out there and make sure you're ready uh, to get on those podiums. So uh, if you're looking for that next power meter, highly recommend the 4i Precision. All right, last up in the list, and this isn't really a new item, I just think this is, if you're riding drop bars, then you know that the salsa cow chippers are like the drop bars that are staple. Currently running these on my gravel bike right now, running a ton of miles on them. And they're just staple. They're just something you can count on. They're super comfortable. They last forever. Um, they're basically a 60, 61 aluminum, uh, but they're a 24 degree drop sweep. So pretty staple on that wrist, you know, uh, comfortability. Uh, this has got 116 millimeter drop. So not too much, but just enough to kind of really put you in that arrow mode if you're looking to go that, although I feel like I'm always sitting up top. But I want to put these on here as like a classic top pick that in case you've forgotten, these things are still out there crushing miles on gravel bikes, they're still comfortable. It's a staple in that world. Not too heavy, coming in at 322 grams. It's aluminum, so even when you go down super hard, they're not, you know, you're not worried about breaking bars or anything like that. And just an all around great drop bar when it comes to gravel, bike packing, adventure. Even you can throw it on your road bike if you're not too much worried about just nothing but carbon and weight. Uh, so this is the Salsa Cow Chipper. Well, those were our top picks for February here at Jensen USA. Uh, we love just kind of looking at gear, checking it out, figuring out what we think are some of the coolest picks here. We kind of ask all the different employees here that are out riding a lot of these products um, and just figuring out what's cool out there because Let's face it, we all have gear acquisition syndrome. We love adding new stuff to our bikes. We love expanding all this stuff, checking out new technology. 
Um, hopefully I get this guy on a drop bar sooner or later. Probably not, <laughs> but uh, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyways, you know, if you like this video, we're trying to do these more regularly. And if you haven't seen our previous video we did, we did our top picks of 2023. Uh, Preston will throw it up here on the screen for you to check out. And as always, stay tuned and keep pedaling.